<clears throat> All right, hey Dave, not here at one two three daytrade.com. Thanks for watching. Thanks for being here. I'm in a short. I thought I would just uh, do a live uh, video. Obviously, it won't be coming. I, I got to be going to work, so by the time it processes and whatnot, it's not going to come across. But I wanted to uh, at least video it. This is the inventory port trade day. Uh, I used uh, this as my stop up here. Entered uh, on this little bar coming down right here get my screen draw tool out now obviously i don't know if it's going to work or not but we have basically we've been coming down right and then i'm looking for a retracement at least down to r1 and if not trying to reach down to the pivot point that's kind of the overall goal right now um pivot today is at uh 41.22 is kind of the overall goal I'm looking for right now on the trade if I can get it. So basically, uh, almost uh, what, a uh, 90 tick move or so. I've locked in five ticks on the trade. I'm good with this right now. It's already moved 1p my favor. And uh, I want to make sure to lock in the five ticks. And because uh, there's no guarantee that the market's going to go down. I mean, we're trading between R1 and R2. So it could easily go up and then be an up day, just like I kind of yesterday was for the most part. Uh, I'm looking for, let's see, if I pull out a higher time frame, 15 minute chart, I'm looking for us to come back basically into this range right in here, where all, where I believe perceived demand is. And so you look back the last few days, this is where a lot of the action was. So reaching back down in here is kind of the overall goal. You can see I got the target down here a little above. Um, that's because it's a 6P target right now from entry point. I need to actually find a 6P off at of this level right here and then go from there. 42.67 brings it in at 41.39. So that actually puts it roughly in here. Um, but from entry point, I, I, no, that's not really what, how I want to look at that one. I want to go up to here. I want to use this as my my um, 6P move on this. 42.28 is set up. 42.28. 6P move from there is actually 4,100. So that's kind of where I want to be right now at 4,100. Don't want to be on the number, though, but 4,101. Uh 4091 is GAN 90 degree angle and got 4057 GAN 137.5. If there is, is it 4058 right there at an 8P move? 57 would be 67 roughly. Uh, if we do get a nice move, that's kind of where I want to be right now. We'll call it 77 for now. Um, We we'll go ahead and lock in seven now. We'll call it 4209. We did switch contracts, by the way. We're in January's contract now. Volume is in January's contract. You can see the. Uh, it might have been yesterday too, uh, but um, I'm not real sure. Usually you can take a look at, at, at um, and usually you can look at, at what's going on in the overall market and you can kind of tell which one is gapping and which one is, is normal. It's fairly simple to see. Today it was easy to see. Uh, I don't want to uh, show that right now. Since I'm in a trade, maybe I'll show it after the trade's up. Now, I do have a limited time frame that I can be here today because I have to go to work starting at uh, 12. So I have to wrap this trade up no later than 11.30-ish, close to it. So 
So here's your bounce off of R1 right now. It might it might be too close to the market. I I, I want to make sure to lock in something on the trade that uh, is going in my favor. I like the nines. Usually, if it goes to a nine, then it'll go up to the next whole number of fifteen. So usually, if a nine gets hit, then you'll see a fifteen get hit. Roughly, and I think about that like 19, and you'll see 25. If you see, um, you know, if you see 29, you'll see 35, stuff like that. It's kind of a little trick of the trade to be uh, if you can get on a nine to come out. Nine usually opens the door to the next whole number up there, or next five or, or zero, right? Kind of well, I get it because usually if it runs the nine, it's going to run the 10. And if it's got a good momentum move, it'll run to the next whole number. Fives and zeros is what I'm talking about here. So instead of taking out a, a two tick win, we get seven ticks. And basically, we just shut the system down. So you know what? We we won a little bit and uh, we just move on to the next trading. That's how I handle my trading now. I don't really let myself worry too much about the individual trade as an overall. I just do the best I can with each trade and hopefully it works out. Uh, it, it goes my, my favor without retracing too far. You really, there's not much that you can do about retracement, uh, either taking gains or you're not moving to break even pretty much is the overall goal. Um, I like to get small wins. It's just, I, I, it's, it works better for my psyche. I'll mess out on, on some retracement trades that will come up through my entry point. But what I'm looking for as an overall, as a trader, uh, is the market to kind of do something like this. And then I stay in the trade. By, by, actually, that wouldn't have kept me in. But something like, let me rephrase that again. So something like, let me reframe that. So something, whoops. Some, no, damn it. Something like this. And then coming down lower. If we consider this the zero point of the trade, then this might be the one, and then the two, and then we're looking for the three, and then the four, and then the five, basically to come out on, on your wave theory. That's how I like to handle my short side trades on, on um, Looking at the overall on a one contract trade, you know, two contracts, we're trying to pick up the, the 200 bar line. Let's go ahead and lock in an extra one now. Get eight. Don't like being on seven so much. We break here. I want to lock in 10 ticks now, though. All right, we will lock in 10 now. Seven's not one of my favorite numbers to be on, but I'd rather be on the odd numbers than the even numbers. I never like to be on zeros and fives as stops. So if you're thinking about numbers that I will put myself on, uh, on a stop related, I'll, I'll go on a one, I'll go on a two, a three, a four, not a five, I'll go on a six, a seven, an eight, and a nine, not a zero. So basically, I don't like being on the, well, excuse me, I don't like being on the even numbers. So you'll see me not, uh, uh, for instance, I'll go on 401, 03, 05, 07, 09. 07 will be the less of the numbers. I won't go on 05, excuse me. So 01, 03, not 05, 07, 09. So I would be okay with coming out at, at 4203 right now. So we'll go ahead and lock that in. I'll give us a 14 tick win. I like to trail about 11 to 12 behind it, roughly, uh, in any given day. We've come up through here, so I'm looking for the market not. So what breaks the pattern right now, in my humble opinion, anything going like this would break the pattern. So what I'd like to see is it continue to make its move down, making a new swing low to get that three point right now. That's kind of my overall goal, and then obviously probably retesting R1 line and then coming back down this way.
All right, we're going to go ahead and lock in 4201 now. Just going to grab as much as we can on what I call the rabbit side of the trade. The other side of the trade is, is basically the, if I had the second contract on, I'd probably be sitting on, on the, the 100 bar right here, right in this area. Uh, I, the 200 bar slope is not steep enough yet for me to, to, to want to get on it yet. So I'd probably be at right here on this one, uh, roughly 4207. Uh, with, uh, was that 4209, 10? Yeah, 4209 roughly would be where I would be. I, I don't think I would be at 4212 yet. I'd want to, it's, I, I'd want to see it continue. This is not a huge down move right here, by the way. So it did make a new low. Now we need to look at what's going on down here. So is it starting to turn over? Are we seeing MACD and William percent R? confirming that the down move could possibly be over. What about volume? What's volume telling us? Volume showing red right now. Uh, a lot of times spike reds on a high will, will drive down some. You'll see a spike red on a, on a down, on an up move. You'll see it kind of go down and you'll see a spike red on a down move kind of uh, blow through it for a while and then settle in. So here's a, what you call um, oh goodness, Dr. Um, I'll think of the terminology that I'm thinking of in a little bit. It's called, um, uh, it's a reverse momentum move that usually goes up and then drives lower. You hope that you can stay within it. It's, um, uh, what's the name of the term that I'm looking for? Uh, I'll think of it later. I can't. Anyway, it's a reverse momentum move. A lot of times it comes up and then you'll see it push down lower after it makes its move up. It's a, uh, um, what's that move? What's that called? Help me out, guys. When you get a chance, throw it out in the common area. I'm having a senior moment here at 53. Shit. Basically, the nutshell of the technical uh, on this is it moves up quickly and then it goes down even lower. So when you're moving against the the, um, the when you're moving, this is actually moving counter trend today though. So keep that in mind. We're trading a counter trend trade over the last few days. The market's kind of been up. I'm trying to think of the name of that still. I mean, it's escaping me right now. I'll I'll be at work today, and all of a sudden it'll dawn on me what this is. Uh, it, anyway, I call it a fake out, uh, and it is what I normally call it. Uh, but it has, actually has a technical term. But it's called, in my terminology, it's what I call, call fake outs. It says, hey, we're going up, and then it it just traps a uh, bull trap here, in, in other words, and down we go. Go 41.99 now. I'm also looking for the market to get 50, 40, 50 ticks, too. These are good days for me to be able to... Uh, knock that, that mark out. So we've locked in roughly what 22 ticks now roughly. Looking for the market to reach back down here at the pivot points what I want to see. Be a nice little move down here to pivot if we can get get there. So once again, the nine nines opens up the 05, right? So there I am. I'm, I'm protecting the nine nine, thinking that that if it gets here, it's going to 4205 minimum. 
So I'm getting myself an extra six ticks here. Just the way I look at things. You know, having enough screen time, you start seeing how the market cooperates and operates. Oh, what's that called? An expert aid in a move. Oh, it's it's on the tip of my my brain. I can feel it coming. Counter move. I call it a I call it a fake out. I, I'm thinking about the, the guy I studied recently. Went back through some of the courses I had bought years ago. Now I can't think of the stupid name he calls it. Figures. Senior moments. What I'm calling it right now. not really making uh, decisive lows here most likely it, it's trying to grind to a halt to come up here and make a move higher maybe the market wants to go to forty three dollars a barrel instead of coming down I like to see it get back into I talked about the demand area that I'm looking for back in here right this is kind of where I want to see the market get to but take into account that it might do something like this extension let's go like this you know it might be coming might you know the market really might be wanting to do this what's that top of that extension 44 right now so that's kind of the other side of it maybe it wants to get in here to the R, the R that's the R3 level by the way or is that R2 man yeah, we're R2 R1 R2 it's been up to R above R2 Looks like the, the market could possibly, with the Fibonacci extension, make a move to R3 today. Now, the other side of this trade is the Fibonacci uh, retracement, right? The 50% level. Fifty percent basically puts it into the range I've been talking about, right? We're at the 67.8 or 30, 30, 30. 8.2 would have you want to look at it uh, I'm looking for it to move into well basically down here to the pivot looking at for it to move down into the s1 line uh, now I want to kind of come in between the two here what I want to do at this point in time if I can stay in this trade which who knows I want to look at 4075 and 4122 divide that into two and see where we're at 40 and 98 so we had 4100 is one of our targets so that'll be where we're going to It'll be 4101 looks like we're getting ready to get run down anyway though we'll call it 4103 And we're run out. Plus 19 ticks there. We got run out at, uh, where did it fill me? 4198 filled. So I got, uh, that's, that's a lot to do with what's going on in the overall market. You don't normally see positive filling, but there, uh, you see it move to, what did that go to? <laughs> 4205. Yeah, what am I talking about, huh? Now it comes back down. Go figure. 
but 4205, 4199 opens the door to 4205. It's, you can pretty much bank on that 80, I would say 80% of the time. That if it hits a nine, it's going to go to hit a five. So grabbing as much as you can. This gives me a new account high, by the way, which uh, you know, obviously I wish I, the market would have moved a lot more in my favor quickly. It didn't. So right now we're in that no man's land. We're above. We're in tra trading in that R1 level, right? So we got to figure out. Got. You got to know where you're trading always. So this could be what's going to happen, you know, something like that. It could be basing, getting ready to go to R2, A, R3. This is the counter move to the trend, and up we go. So know where you are in relation to where you are. You know, if it was be a true down move, you'd see it be a lot steeper, honestly <coughs> speaking. You'd see something like that more than something just stopping this has a habit of just grinding it out and you lose even more money maybe even losing your entry point back to break even so i'd rather just take the money and run and if i had a second contract on then i would run with maybe this stop or this stop right there i'd probably be on the blue line now honestly force it my my running uh, my uh, runner or the turtle side of the trade to run me out at the blue line. So you can see where my level is now. 14, 13, 20. Still just grinding it out, man. That's all I do. Uh, I think today was day 26 as far as trading goes for me. Uh, I guess we could pull the... Um, let's grab the top step trader report. Let me get that off screen. I really don't want you to see my login information. Save up to 33% right now. Tell them Dave Knight sent you. Limited time deals, by the way. They've got some really one some of the best deals out there right now. Just let them know you know, trade craze or um, David Knight sent you. And they'll take care of you at Top Step Trader. So you're going to see this. This was my high right here. Now I'm going to be above it by a little bit. And you know, obviously I'd like to have 50, 60 ticks and get or 100 ticks and be up here at the 3,000 mark. Ideally, I like 26 days, 25 days and already have hit my 5,000 target. But, you know, just grinding it out, making money. Uh, like yesterday, you know, it was just one of those one tick win days and moving on to the next day. I have a lot of those where I just get the money and run. Um, here's a, here was a day that was a little bit rougher for me, five trade day, to get back to even. It was an eight trade day to get, I think I, uh, it's a losing day right there, and I finally gave up on after eight trades. That was outside of, that's outside of my norm. I like to stop at five. That's one of those days that, that got away from me. I was three trades higher than where I want to be. Here's five. Here's one. Here's five plus one. I will have my five plus one rule right there. I will with, run with that occasionally. But uh, ideally, I like to be somewhere in between three to five trades on a day. Ideally speaking, I want a one trade win. Um, doesn't happen very often. But when they do, you, you, you're golden. You feel like, wow, I really did something good. And uh, a lot of times, um, what is that? That's called, it's a revert. I call it a fake out. But you know, now you start seeing a lot more of these now. Now you think that the market's kind of turning over and ready to head back up to R2 roughly. See it equaling out over here and then pressing a little higher. So the market could go, uh, in my humble opinion, the market's based out here, and now it's ready to move back up and make a new high. So looking at it from a different point of view on the 15-minute chart, you're looking at it to basically, as we've been talking already, that we've, we've got a move that's basically getting ready to do this. Need bigger pockets, in my humble opinion, a lot of times, to catching up 
you really can't get to break even as quick as you can on a short side trade. That's why I like the short side trade. You have a lot of a, a lot better chance of the market to be able to stay in the trade and not get knocked out at your break even target. Now the market's trading at 42.10, by the way. All right, that's going to do it for me today. This is Dave Knight here from 123 Day Trade. I got a roll here. It's almost 11 o'clock. It's time to wrap it up. I'll uh, I'll process this video and we'll get it up later uh, tonight, probably by the time I get home or tomorrow. I'll show you this trade tomorrow and today, live in action during the day. Uh, obviously, I got to work around my schedule as well. This is Dave Knight here from 123DayTrade.com. Thanks for watching. Thank you for being here. Have a great rest of your week. We'll see you soon. Bye for now.